think we're going uh, back to run Mills Mile, the second part of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a chance today. To yeah. Do that. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Mills Mile is a go to. And you weren't there. And I wasn't that there. First time. I wasn't there on mon Monday when you guys peeled out. So I was like, I'm all for it. Like, it's, it's a really fun seven, eight. I think it's a seven. We we intended on returning where we left yeah, off, which yeah. was let's go catch the upper half. Of same book, we, same chapter, <laughs> different pages. But it worked out like perfectly. So you took us back to the bottom. I did. I did. I, I looped everybody back down to the bottom, and you know, media's like, no, 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 we don't, we don't really need this. And you know, Scott and I kind of looked at each other like, ooh, this is this is our thing. So we that get, means we, get to we jam. can just run the like, we can just run we, this. We can thing. just jam this one. So. Let's do it. We did. <laughs> Got up to Middle Monkey, set up. We had a couple of rigs that were there that were doing some work. I've noticed a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel. We are gonna be giving away a free shirt in every video this year. This is one of the new shirts we're giving away on the Great American Crawl at every stop. We've also got these and a bunch of other apparel we're launching. We're gonna be grabbing one thing out of our store at random and sending it out to one of you who have subscribed to the channel. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below that you have and what your shirt size is, and it could be you. We're gonna pin your comment to the top, whoever we pick, and then you're gonna be getting a pretty cool piece of clothing. Enjoy the video. It looks harder than it really is. If you, and it really, if you just have the breakover, you know, mm -hmm. through the center, that center clearance, the rest of it really just comes down to, you just don't want to hit them, your front tires to be hitting them differently. Just kind of same time, same everything, and just follow it up. It's pretty simple, actually. There's not much like negotiating to it and just trust the car mm -hmm. and as vertical as it feels, you and, know, and yeah. like kind of uncomfortable, like there's no way it's gonna grab as those roll over and that those front tires get past that point, they're actually pulling the front yeah. down and it feels like it shouldn't <laughs> go and then it just yeah. walks. I did this one before. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think you just have to keep that tire, what, to the far right? Yes. It'll bite and then to the left. And it's good grip for days. Go to Bill. I, I did Middle Monkey and then just kind of took the normal line yep. to the right. And that's where everybody else was, was doing until Andy <laughs> got there. me he's like Scott did you go right or left I was like I went to the right <laughs> and he just was right by the right straight to the <laughs> left <laughs> what Andy took on was like a whole different ball kind of wax of, with the largest rig that we have in our group kind of an overkill space <laughs> <laughs> And he starts going up the the first kind of it's kind of an articulate little Angelina, you know yeah. yeah deal which he walks <laughs> through that no problem other than the fact it was pretty cool because I'm just like staring right underneath his vehicle like st stood up you know six feet off the ground. Is the smart move going to be left here, so, you think? I've never gone up here, like I said. You think the smart um, move is left? I've always done this at night. Honestly, I didn't even realize this was up here. But you get through that section, and then there's like this little mini amphitheater, and, and then he gets through it, and he goes, all right, what do you think? I'm like, dude, I don't know. I haven't, been, I haven't even been back here. I think I mean, we, 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 we're in a pickle. This <laughs> is choose your own adventure. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the right line to me, just because of his wheelbase, it spoke to me that like, yeah, I think he can, I think you can make this. Oh, yeah. And so he started, you know, walking, walking up that thing. The lower ledge was the issue, not from the beginning, but it's when he would get vertical that the back tires were chalking mm. on it. Mm. 
you know, I think a bump, like give it some throttle is gonna be what it takes. And sure enough, like he, he, he hit it and snapped that throttle and it got to that grab. And then sure enough, it just right on through. Um, and it was, I mean, that was a pretty massive obstacle. Hi, bro. our way over to uh, that right turn or hard right turn which is it, it's a tight area I mean in, in for a long wheelbase you know I had to do a little off you know, Austin Powers if I can say that a little little jockeying to get my nose in because the, the real trick to that, that 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 beta side of the line is really planting your passenger side on that wall getting it to climb on that wall that's going to keep the entire passenger side out of the wall which takes us right into hard left turn, um, which actually did give me a, a bit of a pause when I was coming through it, because I came in really shallow. was actually kind of it for, for yeah we got to the top there and everybody else got right through, again got right through yeah that um and that's when we went and did the, the little recon for this morning's excitement the man over here was like just itching <laughs> itching for some air time logging some air miles every time i come here i jump <laughs> um and i'm just always looking for a better better one i did i was able to find something that i felt i could make work <laughs> We got cracking first thing this morning. We had like a, a an hour to play with, basically, mm -hmm. to see if we can't make this this happen. thing and it went like we are I was looking I was hoping for another car length out of the jump and I think the first hit we went two car lengths like farther uh -huh. and then from there like I was figuring out the run in we did it uh, uh, several times to the point that we were breaking like 70 feet oh my god yeah oh my god it helped a lot getting all that weight out of there there's a couple oh, hundred yeah. pounds <laughs> 21, where'd I land? Right here's your longest. 22, 23, 24. What's that? 20? 72 feet. Yeah, we broke the 70 mark, doggy. <laughs>
was the hardest that car's ever hit. It yeah. really generally doesn't bottom out, and that one, that took it. That took it, it, it all. Was, it was a bit of a bang. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but at the but it was awesome. Nothing broke on the car. Everything was good to yep. go. The thing is built to jump. So all this means is you're gonna see that jump. And I'm just looking for something bigger. <laughs> I ran out of jump. <laughs> wow. We managed to boogie over to the Twister, uh, a new trail in, in Santa Hall. One that's only new to all of us. New to all of us, but it's been around for about two years. It's no joke. Um, you, you pull up and you're just kind of feet off the frontage space to get in there. And, and here's your here's your gatekeeper. It's right in your face. Yeah. You really have to pick your line right because um, it can go sideways real fast. Well, and it's, it's really and it's not the line that you're really going to be thinking that you're going to be taking either. I'm thankful I was not driving. <laughs> I don't think I could have done any of that. He was very wobbly. I was very nervous for him. Yes. I there was a lot today that I thought he was gonna go over. And, but when I talked to him, he said, no, it, it didn't feel as bad as what it looked from the outside. You know, I watched a little bit of YouTube clips on that and kind of watched some different people's pictures and stuff like that, right? So, I mean, I knew going into it, Twister was gonna be a challenge. And um, I think it was a good challenge, just fun, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it, it makes you tense right up, right? I mean, it's, it really tests your car and your ability to drive. So it took us a little bit to figure mm -hmm. that out. Unfortunately, you know, Cameron was like he was he was our guinea pig oh, on us figuring and, and out and how a to get him through. Yeah. You know? he, yeah. Oh, I, I was paying keen attention he to really it. He really fell on the sword today. Dude, he did. He did. He, like he, he did. He jumped. He definitely fearless lost. leader. Yeah, he jumped <laughs> into like the deepest end for sure. New trail, new to us serious trail yeah. and little he was the one yeah. in front figuring it all out little tweaks on his rig settling things in he was still running the 42s so he had that space to work with and i'm paying attention to these lines because my build's almost identical but and yeah. uh yeah so it's like which line is working and how can i tweak this so so i don't get so tippy <laughs> And yeah, I ended up in the front and leading that one. And uh, we were figuring things out. With yes, you. yes, yeah. Because even on those first, what, three obstacles right there in a row, right? We kind of daisy chain. I think, well, we had Scott, you know, guiding one. I was spotting on the next one and uh, kind of got everybody through. But once we started figuring out that line, you know, and, and Alan, you know, he gave us a hand on that. So that was good, you know, kind of show some pointers on those first couple obstacles. So you're twisting through the trail itself and then you're articulating, twisting your rig up into, into basically Cirque du Soleil kind of pretzel form, just trying to get through these obstacles. Yeah, right out of the gate, that, that first obstacle that we had to go, oh, yeah, that, the, you know, that twisted, that real far left side, which didn't seem correct, but it was the way to go. You get straight up to the top, there's a wall there, and now you got to turn like, you know, like a hundred degrees of a turn yeah. back straight down this down ramp into this V notch kind of thing and get <laughs> and not like tip over as you're making the turn to get squared up into that. And then you come up and you got to be riding both tires, you know, yeah. straight over that. And it was definitely like, okay, yeah, this is how this trail's going to go. Yeah. It's tight. It, it's, you know, you're it, digging and it took spotting on, on, on like multiple angles. Yeah. Good communication was key, really key all the way through that trail, especially for a first time.
Yeah, it was like a free for all. Oh, yeah. absolutely. It was a total playground, you know, and that's again, kind of a testament to Sand Hollow having so many options everywhere. I was. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I I I, I submarined him. I talked him. I talked him into that thing. I had no faith that he was gonna make it. I was just trying to make myself look better. <laughs> and then I didn't even do it. I just went another way. Oh my! Nope, don't want any part of that. <laughs> well, that was our first big uh, team recovery. Oh, today, it just right? went up yeah. nose. Yeah. <laughs> if you lose that ledge then now you're leaned into that wall um, and it's really hard to recover and try and get your tires back up onto that and he hit his skosh mirror uh, <laughs> so he gave that a little kiss you know and it was like it was one of those it was getting to this a point where let's look at a recovery option on this or or helping that like just save it it was a little bit harder than i anticipated i really thought it was going to go better than it did but um you know the guys gave me a hand we got a winch line hooked on got me pulled away did kiss the wall again on that one left a little green paint on it it wasn't as bad though. No, no. As I thought it would no, be. No, everything we've done it, this week is just a little. Just, they're just, just a mix. Kiss. Yeah. Just yeah, just yeah. kisses. Yeah. Little touch-ups. Memories. We had we had we had we had delusions of grandeur to to use one aspect of it, which was rock buggy putting a bag underneath the lines, making sure everything was, it was clean the wrong and safe. Angle. And it was just, it, it was, it was, it was you know, physics really we wasn't in our trying favor. trying to pull them off. Yeah. But it was holding them back yeah. at the same time. So it was, you know. You had the idea. I, ideally, let's get Andy up and over here and we can pull him forward, pull him away from the wall. And let's just see what we can do. Let's leave Rock Buggy attached to that just to kind of pull him away and pull him forward. And and thankfully, I think we kind of made the best out of that, out of that scenario just to kind of keep him off the wall. Say my buddies are always looking out for me. You gotta be here for them. working through a couple of the other obstacles, you, you kind of wrap around to this big open face and there's two lines you can take. There's one to the left, which is kind of a short climb, maybe two, three steps to get over. And then there's the big, bold face. And the big, bold face is offset. So you, you do this one short little climb, there's a little bit of a drop between that and then the next wall. And then there's kind of this big drop off to the right.
D dial spots, in, yeah. Dated through, and she just walks right through. Yeah. And I, Gary was actually standing over by me, and we're just laughing like, good yeah. grief. You know, he's like, Nick always gives her a better spot than he gives me. <laughs> <laughs> he makes her look so good. <laughs> always. I know. <laughs> we have two different thoughts when it comes to body damage. I mean, right, like you said, he's gonna use a cage for a fifth wheel. I, on the other hand, <laughs> try to save some of the paint butter coat, but uh, just uh, two different styles right there. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we, you know, we kind of all start playing into our own little zones, and the next thing you know, the next thing you know, we hear kind of a bang, and then you kind of hear over the radio, so Andy needs a winch. But it was funny.
funny because they're like, they're like, oh, Andy, Andy's stuck up here. It's like, all right. And then the first thing I can see is his American flag, and it is right against a wall. I'm like, that's not a good sign. No. <laughs> and and then you see the rest of the rig, somehow precariously sitting on its side, in the middle of this big wedge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think everybody had the same reaction. I heard multiple people see Andy's situation. Oh my, <laughs> you know. You can't park there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be as bad as what I thought it looked like, but it was, yeah. it was bad. He came out really easy. I he thought did. the recovery was gonna be, I thought we were gonna be there for a while. We ended up taking a combination of winching from the, we got a rig, one of our rigs around to the front and then it's a big, tall canyon wall, but we brought a rig around on that side, threw a strap over, really with, it wasn't much tension on either one. I mean, he was, he was, I mean, he was wedged, but it wasn't that far off though, too. It didn't no, take think... that much for him actually to get through. It's oh, true. after the recovery. I would have been crying, curled up in a ball somewhere, <laughs> but hats off to you, dude, for like having the gumption. Just why, why not? Let's just do it. <laughs> it's pretty hard to bum Andy out. Like he's it just is. like happy. It is. He's, he's just like, all right, next. Lucky, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's done. Yep. <laughs> I think you got that, man. Let's give it one more go. I think if I go, I think, <laughs> I think we're up. If I start it and if I do it in reverse, I think it'd give me the shit. Yeah, idea. right. The geometry would be there. Yeah. All right, we'll try it back. All right. Yeah during the recovery process, Nick had actually parked in this really interesting wedge scenario, right? It's this big, steep climb, probably a six, you know, I don't know, five foot, six foot span of a wedge, just going up and over these two kind of dome, dome razorbacks. And It's been a good week. You know, we've gone through two recoveries today, no injuries, no substantial damage to any of the vehicles. You know, let's go grab food, right? It's, it's been a good week and on a high note. Danielle, how was your tr first Trail Hero driving? Are you excited to get more into the seat or what? I definitely am. He was actually looking for another race. <laughs> I thought I would save myself buying another rig by sharing the seat, but I just, I really gave her that itch. I, yes, yes, I definitely want more of it. Awesome trail hero. Always love it out here. Our second time out here and we will be back next year. It's these events that's like why we do these things, right? It's a great opportunity to see the family, see the friends, and then see those people that we don't live anywhere near. Can't wait for next year. Yeah. Already looking forward to next year. Trail Hero is one of our favorites. It should be yours too. We will see you here next year.